Number 12 asks, the leg and cast in the figure below weigh 347 newtons, W1. Determine the weight, W2, and the angle, alpha, needed so that no force is exerted on the hip joint by the leg plus cast. Okay, so what we have, actually before I even get started, I have to um, do some pre math, some some pre-algebra, pre-trigonometry stuff, just to make sure um, you've got the idea before I go into this and you're, um, you're lost. So what, what we have is the sine of theta, and don't worry, I'm not going over something that you think you probably know, so, um, but you, you know the sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse, and you also know that the cosine of theta is the adjacent the adjacent over the hypotenuse so what happens if I if I divide if I take sine theta divided by cosine theta now what's that equal it equals opposite over hypotenuse divided by adjacent over hypotenuse but that can be rearranged because anytime you divide by a fraction it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal h over a and so what you end up canceling out your h's and you get that it equals opposite over adjacent which equals tangent so that's the point i'm trying to make cosine theta di cosine theta divided by or sine theta divided by cosine theta equals tangent theta so, and, but this is this is why right here is because when you actually do the angles like that, that's what you get is opposite over adjacent, which is the definition of of tangent. All right. So if you understand that, now we can go in to working the problem. So what we have is we have uh, a pulley system right here, and it says that there's 110 newtons hanging from this weight and this there's a leg being held up into a specific place and and there's another pulley system right here and this um, we know that this angle is 40 degrees and we we don't know what the, they call this angle alpha and they call this weight w2 and so we know that the weight of the leg is is 347 newtons and so what we have to do is set up a, a little x and y chart. So here's my y, here's my x, and 40 degrees. And and uh, we know that the force of this is 110 newtons. And so we want to find um, all of the x's and all the y's associated with that. And then we have um, alpha degrees, and we we have w2 as our force here. And then we have the weight of the leg, which is 347. So those are our forces. So what are our x forces? The x, um, we have the x right here, where, which is um, going to be the, adja the adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine, cosine 40 times 110. You could type that in uh, as 110 cosine 40 or cosine 40 times 110. Um, so that's x1. x2 is going to be um, cosine alpha of w of force w2. So w2 times cosine alpha. And so we know that. The sum, and those are all of our x's. Now our y's, we have, um, now the one thing I want to point out is that this um, is going in this direction. We're going to define that as negative, and this one's going in this direction. We're going to define that as positive. So let me kind of <coughs> separate all that. We know that the sum of the x's equals zero. So if we add up this 110, cosine theta. Actually, we, we said this was going to be our negative. So what I'm going to do is is we're going to use the W2. So W2, a force of unknown value W2 cosine unknown angle alpha 
minus 110 cosine 40. I think it was 40. Uh, yeah, it's 40. So cosine 40 equals 0. This is equation 1. Now, this defines all of our x values. Our y values, on the other hand, so we're going to do y1 is going to be this negative 347. And our y2 is going to be um, this 110, uh, 110 sine 40 degrees. So 110 sine 40. And because what, why did I get that? Because um, we, we have the opposite over the hypotenuse and you, you want to get the opposite by itself so you, uh, that equals sine 40 so you times 110 by both sides and you get that the opposite equals 110 times sine 40 so y1, y2 and y3 is going to be w2 sine alpha w2 sine alpha so we know that the sum of y equals 0, sum of y equals 0, so that means we can take these, we're going to define this one as our negative value and these two as our positive, we're going to add them all together, so uh, undo that, so 110 sine 40 plus w2 sine alpha minus minus 347 equals 0. This is going to be equation number 2. Now what we have to do is we, we have to start solving for um, for something. And since we have the same exact unknowns in both equations, um, we're, we're just going to solve for the same unknown in both the the same unknown in both equations and see what we can come up with. So let's simplify that. Let's simplify um, this, and then we'll we'll solve for w two. Okay, so one ten cosine forty is going to be so we're doing minus eighty four. 0.26, we'll say 265 for rounding. So, force W2 cosine alpha minus 84 equals 0. So, we know what W2 cosine alpha equals. It equals positive 84. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and simplify the 110 um, sine 40. That equals 70.71 so we know um, that W2 sine alpha is, go is going to equal um, 347 minus 70 which is 200 and we'll just say 277 roughly 277, 276 Right now, I'm just kind of approximating things in my head so that I can, I can kind of step in and move forward. So we're going to take this equation. So W2 cosine alpha equal, or yes, equal. So it's going to equal, we're going to add this to the other side of the equation. So it's going to equal positive 84.265. And then we can we can um, divide both sides by cosine alpha to find what W2 equals. W2 equals 84.265 divided by cosine alpha. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to do the same thing for the other equation. So we're going to take this and uh, so 70.71. 70.71 plus W2 sine alpha and so instead of minusing I'm just going to make this equal to positive 347 so equals 
347 and I did that by adding 347 to both sides so when you add 347 to a negative 347 it cancels it out and I added it over here and so I can subtract the 70.71 to the other side and I can get W2 sine alpha equals 276.29 and then I can divide both sides by sine alpha so I get W2 equals 276.29 divided by sine alpha now um, that's kinda hard to see so I'm just going to rewrite this equation and this equation on the next page 84.265 divided by cosine alpha equals W2 and then 276.29 divided by sine alpha equals W2 so what we have just figured out is that this is equivalent to this. So we can set these guys equal to each other. 276.29 sine alpha equals 84.265 cosine alpha. So if I multiply both sides by sine alpha what I end up getting is sine alpha over 1 and so um, when I multiply that what I, what I, can, what I can end up doing um, algebraically is I can move this cosine under the sine and have 84 by itself and so 260 I'll make sure I got the right number 276 see there 276 point uh, 29, so 0.29 equals 84.265, so 84.265 sine alpha over cosine alpha. And now I want to divide my 84 over to this side. So I get 2 uh, 276.29 divided by 84.765 equals sine alpha over cosine alpha. So that can be reduced even further. So I get um, 3.259 equals sine alpha over cosine alpha. So what is, if you remember the very beginning of this thing, I said that sine, o, sine theta over cosine theta equals tangent theta. So I can, I can reduce this even further and say 3.259 equals tangent of this degree alpha. Now we're at a point where we can use the inverse function to find out what the angle is. So 3.2, um, actually, we do tangent to the negative 1 times 3.259 equals alpha. You plug that into your calculator, um, which I want to do now. 3.259 you get alpha equals 72.9 degrees I don't know how the first time I did this I end up coming up with 73.05 um, presumably because I, I rounded differently but it's close enough that this should still give us um, w within a very de uh, high degree of accuracy the same answers so we know what our angle is so if you remember what we were doing we had this angle W2 
And now we know what this angle right here is. It's 72.9. So 72.9 degrees. We wanted to find out what W weighed. And so we we know that the the magnitude of um, of this y value plus the magnitude of the y value we had over here is going to perfectly balance the magnitude of this y value and so we can use that thought because we know what this one was it told us in the problem that it was 347 newtons and then we knew what this one was because we know that that this force is 110 newtons and that this is 40 degrees and so we can we can take uh, the the cosine uh, so 110 times cosine 40 is that this magnitude right here is 84.26 so if I take 347 and subtract the 84.26 I know what this magnitude is so that's what I'll do and it's roughly um, 262, so this is 262 point, um, we're going to call it 74, 262.74, and so this is my, um, my opposite, so, so sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, and so I need to div uh, multiply both sides, or Actually, I can rearrange this to find my hypotenuse equals opposite over sine theta. So opposite is 262.74. Sine theta is sine of, of 72.9 degrees. So I take 262.74 and divide by sine 72.9. And my answer is 274.89. Now just because I'm looking at the answer I came up with, which is roughly 275, and it differed with the answer that I plugged into WebAssign, I, I plugged in 288, and it, it graded it correctly, um, I'm just going to go back and look at my y. Remember, my y equation is to add up all of these values and and I should be able to solve for W2 so W2 sine and I know that this is um, 72 um, 72.9 uh, 72.9 so W2 72.9 plus 110 sine 40 minus 347 equals 0 so I can I can use that equation and solve for W2, which is what I'm going to do just to double check myself. So the first thing I'm going to do is simplify this and this. So I'll take 110, take 110 sine 40. That's 70.7, and I'll take and, and I'll subtract from this. I'll subtract 347. So minus 347, and so I know that. W2 sine 72.9 equals 276.29 and then I can I can um, solve for sine 72.9 and divide it so sine of uh, 72.9 is 0.955 and when I take W2 and, div and I divide 0 0.9555 here, and I divide 0 0.955 here, I get 276.29 divided by 0 0.955 equals, equals 289. So there was something that we did wrong the first time where we got um, 276. This is uh this is the right way is to use your, your the sum of your y's the sum the sum of your y's equation the equation that we got from that and solve for w2 solve for the weight and so that would equal 289 there's your answer I'm sorry it took 20 minutes to get there